Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Well, you know the news. There's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you gonna start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. the satellite saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. See some ruins up ahead. Wait here, I'll go take a look. <clears throat> oh, Victor, you still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nate that it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of Hot Cargo now. Yeah, sure, but. I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid.
Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, the first time out here was for a swap. Stolen diamonds. <laughs> of course. The deal went bad and I got arrested. Ended up bribing the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, we And I made a point to come back. She moved. Brazil. It's been a few years since we've seen each other. It's a note. All right, let's get moving. Yeah. A little warning next time. I guess the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Gotta get up to that bridge. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. 
Okay, just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! Careful, careful! No! Oh, shit! No! Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Okay, just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. I'm getting nowhere fast. Easy. You need traction here. Let's not get stuck here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, hang on, guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How did we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? Hang on tight. Oh, oh uh, <laughs> hey, Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? You take this slow, kid. Yeah. Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era.
Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Huh. Bark stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. Do it. Oh, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. But the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time.
Stay put. See ya. Ready to go. Hey, Nathan, check out that cave there. Let's see here. What you got? All right, let's go. How would you look at that? Oh shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Follow my lead. How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Life's all empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on.
All right. It's inbound!
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Nadine hasn't given up on excavation by explosions. Rafe can't be happy about that. I don't think Rafe has much of a say in the matter. Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. Be 
be right back. I right, just don't stay out past curfew, all right? All set. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to eight. Uh, hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked them to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. <laughs> well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, pirate walks into a bar. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, argh, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here.
Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Every site needs to be documented before we use explosives. <laughs> it's like he doesn't trust us. Get out of the way and let me take a goddamn picture. Something, eh? See what's in there.
Buckle up, everybody! Hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's a well. Sully, you stole your joke. I noticed. Good sense of humor, though. Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Did you find something down there? Maybe. Do me a favor, get behind the wheel for a sec. Will do.
Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a second. <clears throat> Okay, what do we have here? So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. See that smoke? Oh, shoreline, slow down. Check this out. What if that's man made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. <clears throat> Sorry. Sure. 